right, we're here with uh, AKO defensive back Richard Veenstra, uh, named defensive player of the week for the club uh, after their 41 nothing win uh, in, on the weekend. Um, Richard, uh, 41 nothing. most people would seem to be happy with that. You guys aren't happy with that. Why? Uh, just from an effort point of view, it was just not up to par, not how we play football. So um, the coach, you know, tells us every week, you know, just no matter what happens on that scoreboard, he didn't care if it was 0-1 to one, as long as we put in a good effort, and we did not. We gave up too many yards on the ground defensively and uh, not, consist- not enough consistent uh, offensively. So, Just talk about the difficulties of keeping uh, the emotional intensity up in a, in a long season, especially when you have two weeks where you were playing teams that you were heavily, heavily favored to beat. Ah, uh, just competition. Just uh, it's almost competing against each other. You know, the deep, the defensive backs. You know, we like to see who's got all the picks, the tackles, and stuff. So you just got to compete with each other and just be excited every time you go out there. Personally, you're having an outstanding season in your first campaign at the OFC level. Five interceptions to to lead the league. Uh, are you surprised by your own performance and why do you think you've been able to make this adjustment so quickly? Uh, yeah, I'm surprised. I'm surprised of having the year that I am, especially my first one out here. But um, the reason why, our pressure up front, our front seven gets in that quarterback's head every single snap of the football. So it just makes it easy for us defensive backs back there. And uh, the coaches, John Bins and Coach Morenci, do a great job putting us in the right spot at the right time. Now you've got London tomorrow. A real quick turnaround. Uh, how do you get yourself geared back up to to knock heads with an old rival down the 401. Well, it's it's easy for me. Every time that whistle blows, I put on my chin strap. I'm ready to go. So uh, defensively, I'm pretty sure we're gonna we're gonna want to do something compared to our last effort last game. So we got we got to have our intensity level up. What do you th- is it just emotional level that you, you need to improve? You think, or was it physical mistakes? Or no, it was it was emotional. Mm. Like we we were in the right spot, but mm. uh, we were just getting blown off the line. We we're just getting yeah. We're the, the, they created. The line of scrimmage on our side, which cannot happen, especially down the road. So. Now, you've prepared for London once before. The, the Lightning kind of mm-hmm. canceled that game. Just talk a little bit about London, because you've actually physically played yeah. them a little bit yeah. uh, and instead of just looking at film. Yeah, well, they have uh, they got a young quarterback, mm. and they got a couple really good running backs. Mm. They have a very methodical offense, you know, mm. pretty standard, you know, high formation, tackle running, play action, you know. So uh, just it's not anything that we haven't seen before. So. Uh, just t- how are the guys feeling heading into a game after uh, playing on Saturday? Well, I haven't really talked to any of the guys yet. I guess I'll see them tonight. Mm-hmm. But uh, they're probably not too happy with the effort that we put in as well. Giving up 202 yards mm-hmm. on the ground against a team like this is, uh, is not what we can do. Because we're going to get, if we play like that against Hamilton with that upper level, we will not come out victorious. That's for sure. Uh, playing them five days later after you play Tuesday, um, what are the challenges in doing that? Uh, just uh, being ready for the game, you know, physically and mentally. Just uh, being focused and prepared. Was it almost inevitable that you were going to have one of these kind of down games uh, in, in this season, especially since you had been on a roll and, uh, and and that you had played so well the, the week before? Yeah, yeah, for sure. For every, with every team, you need that. You really need that kick in the butt before the playoffs because I was with the Essex Ravens before. We went 8-0 in the regular season and then lost the first round of the playoffs. You know, we didn't. We weren't. We weren't battle tested mm. enough. I guess. Why? Why do you think you guys will be able to get get the intensity pumped up again uh, tomorrow? Uh, veterans on our team. Yeah. They do a great job of doing it, and uh, just the coaching staff will get us ready.